Right then, with this one, we're just going to get into a bit of rumour control and also my thoughts on this matter, whether or not it comes to pass or not. Now, if you've been following the horror movie review and news space, you might have come across this story that there's been a report, and it's a report, it's not a um, anything confirmed, it's maybe slightly more than a rumour, let's call it a report, that there's talk of work on a new Nightmare on Elm Street requel, and what that means is reboot slash sequel, so requel, um, with Robert Englund returning as Freddy Krueger, which would be great, but I'm very sceptical about this. Now, I'm not saying that there's not talks that are being had, I'm pretty sure that is the case, in fact I know that's the case. Apparently there's been a bit of a bidding war when it comes to uh, the rights and so on. Uh, from what I understand, the rights actually reverted back to West Craven or the estate of West Craven. Obviously he passed away a few years ago. Uh, but it was under the, uh, the ruling that 35 years after, I think it was the original film had come out that a creator had put out there, 35 years after that, the rights revert back to the original owner. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's the gist of it. So in 2019, from what I understand, uh, that happened to be the case with the estate of West Craven. And there's been some talk about bidding wars and so on, but there's been some more recent talk. I'm not going to show the sources because there's a good possibility that some of this is clickbait um, and people trying to drum up followers and um, rep on social media and so on. But the gist of it is, there's been some talk about uh, about this happening. Blumhouse allegedly are involved, and they're talking about making it into a trilogy because that's their thing. Uh, obviously, the discussion then kind of extends into the bit of the mess that was made with the Halloween reboot slash sequels requels that uh, we got from 2018 onwards. Um, I quite like the 2018 film. Uh, Halloween, then you had Halloween Kills, which wasn't quite as good, and then Halloween Ends, which I thought was absolute shite. So when it comes to a Nightmare on Elm Street requel trilogy, um, I'd be a little bit concerned, to be honest. I mean, um, I quite like the Nightmare on Elm Street films, all the ones that we had with Robert Englund. Uh, we had six films originally, and then in 94 we had... Um, the Wes Craven's New Nightmare, which was kind of um, not a seventh film, I suppose it was, but it was kind of uh, flipping the script a little bit, kind of literally. And then obviously we had Freddy vs. Jason in what was that, 2003, I think? Uh, and nothing since, other than, oh God, dare I mention it, a remake in 2010, which was awful. The less said about that, the better. Um, but rumour control, uh, there's a lot of reason to believe that this isn't true. There's some very um, credible sources out there that have said, well, if this is true, it's news to us. And it's likely that if it was true, they would probably know about it. Some sources that are out there have commented on this. Um, so I'm sceptical anyway. And even if this does happen, I don't think it's a good idea, to be honest. Another reason to be very sceptical of this is Robert Englund himself doesn't seem to be um, really in, in the right kind of physical ability to play this role anymore, um, unless of course we go down the CGI ro uh, route. That was part of what was discussed to be honest, so um, obviously <laughs> if this is a rumour and they're making it up, well they've taken care of that because I think they did actually address that issue. Um, but again, it just makes me think that uh, if what's been reported on has been honest that you know that there's talks of it happening whether or not it actually happens that's a whole other thing so there's many different ways of looking at this it's very easy to be skeptical about this and i certainly am and if it turns out to actually come to pass well um so be it but i don't think it will be I mean, that's the next question would it be any good and i very much doubt that i think i've kind of made that point anyway with this so I'll leave it there, but I'll see what happens, and if there is anything else, I'll do my best to cover this, so if there's anything credible that comes out. Um, but yeah, so I'll leave it there. Stick with us uh, after the end bit here, because of some news about the channel, obviously. Uh, we do a Halloween special series every year, so there's a bit of information on that coming up. Uh, sorry about the voice changer thing. Um, I don't know if it really worked, but you'll, you'll see what I mean anyway. 
So uh, like and subscribe, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if, if there's any information on this that you've got that I've not covered here, uh, well, there is plenty, but um, if there's anything you want to add, feel free to add it in the comments. Thank you very much. This October, it is coming! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it's that time of year again. Brand X Reviews marks its 10th anniversary in October, but also the 10th anniversary of the Halloween special series itself. You can check out the previous videos on the playlist section on our channel. They're all there listed in chronological order. And if you were a fan of those videos, you won't be disappointed this year because we're going to be doing similar thing to what we normally do. So as a reminder, every year, Leading up to Halloween at night itself, depending how many videos we actually do, depends when it begins. But ultimately, it ends on Halloween night itself with our final video. Generally, we do retrospectives or reviews of current, recent horrors, that kind of thing. Sometimes we branch out a little bit, but we'll see what we do this year. The discussions are being had with myself and my core reviewer, The Core. I might even bring other reviewers in on this one as well just for a bit of variety. So, check out the channel if you're not a subscriber, you can subscribe, and of course, remember to check back in October because it will be happening.